Hey guys, what's going on? So I am at the happiest place on earth. No, I'm kidding. It's Walmart. So I've heard that it's Lego clearance season at Walmart. So I'm here to just kind of check it out, see what they have. There's a lot of huge Lego hunters in Austin. So I rarely actually find anything on sale. I don't even have anything in mind that I want. I just want to see what Lego sets they have on clearance. And maybe some of them have really good pieces for mocks for the Lego city. So we will see. Also, y'all see this? I brought my own pick it break cuffs because I'm going to the Lego store after this. I need to get more pieces for a mock I'm working on. I'm trying to build Minnie Mouse's house and it's way better than I thought it would be. Anyways, I need more pieces because I have half of a roof done and like that's just, it's not acceptable. I need my mock to have two halves of a roof. Yeah, I'm going to get more pieces to finish that. But also, I don't know why I didn't get these last time, but on the pick a brick wall in Austin, they have these one by four white plates. Those would be so handy for building more buildings in my city. I don't know what they'll be yet, but just having more of those plates, I think would be really handy. So yeah, come along with me. Let's let's go Lego shopping. It'll be great. So I really don't like coming to this Walmart. I don't know. They usually don't have any good Lego deals, but also it's just like kind of sketchy. It's like not the best area of town, but wish me luck. Okay, so I just got to the Lego aisle and right off the bat, I see this Mickey art is for sale. It was 120, now it's 90. It's actually really hard to find deals. So this tag looks very similar to like all the other tags. So this might be a little challenging to see what's actually on sale or not. Oh my gosh, we have this cute little Duplo set on clearance. Oh my gosh, I just got really excited. So for a second, I thought this was on clearance for some reason because it said $10. So I was like, what? Okay, but it's actually that. Ooh, actually now would be a really good time to get these Hogwarts Moments books. They were 30, now they're 24. So it's not that great of a discount, but if you were to pick up all of them, you would be saving a good chunk of money. Check this out, y'all. The Hogwarts Clock Tower was 90, now it's 72. I wasn't planning on getting Harry Potter, but now I'm not sure. Ooh, and also this Friends Cinema. It's marked down by 10 bucks. It was 50, now it's 40. I've had my eye on this for a while and I would love to get it, but I have nowhere to put it. Ooh, okay, so of course all of the Lego Super Mario is marked down, but it's not as much as I thought it would be. I feel like I've seen this on sale for a lot more than this. Okay, okay, so this is actually what Ross asked me to get. He wants Luke's Landspeeder, which I know is kind of like a joke Lego set, but we just got most Eisley, so I think this would be really good to go with it. And it is marked down from 30 to 24. So I'm actually gonna pick this one up today. That's actually good, I found this. Um, okay, so I think I just found the best Lego deal. So y'all see this Ninjago, it's the Catamaran Sea Battle, right? So it was 70, now it's 25. That's actually a really good deal. I don't even want this set. But for 25 bucks, I'm like, should I? Should I do it? I don't know. Of course, this like super overpriced set is still $80. I would love to get this set. Ross really wants it, but it's just a little pricey. Yikes. Okay, do y'all see this? What what happened here? This is this is bad. Here's another pretty good deal, actually. So it's the Friends Jungle Rescue Base, and it was initially 80. Now it's down to 60. So it's a really cute set, especially if you're like really into Lego animals. Okay, so I bought some Lego that I would normally never buy. I got a Ninjago set. You guys can see that. I've never had Ninjago, but it was like $25. It's normally 70. So that was like, what, 75% off. I just could not pass that up. Also, I got Luke's Land Speeder. So, you know, having a good day so far. Okay, so I just got back to the car and I did not expect to find that many good deals. What? What's beeping? But yeah, so I just bought my first Ninjago set. So I'm very excited about that. I don't know when I'm going to build it or what I'm going to do with it but it was $25 down from 70. So I don't know, it was kind of just an impulse purchase, but I mean, that's an objectively good deal for Lego. So I think it's okay. And I wasn't planning on going to any other Walmarts today, but now I'm like, well, maybe, cause I did see some clearance tags, but without any sets there. And I would have gotten them like the toy store, the three in one creator toy store. I love that set. I actually have two of them. And if I got more of them, it would be really easy to build like a really cool modular out of it. I think it was $40 marked down to 25. So that's like 40% off. That's still really good. Especially if you're buying multiple of them, it definitely adds up. So yeah, I'm going to go try to find some more Walmarts. So I found another Walmart kind of close by, but it's also kind of like a semi-sketchy area. So I just got to the Walmart and it's kind of hidden behind trees, but like I'll show you the front in a second if you care. But this was actually the Walmart back in, I think like August of 2020, when I was trying to find 501st Battle Packs in the US. This Walmart had a ton of them, so I'm feeling very lucky. <laughs> we'll see what they have. I just feel like 50% off or more for Lego is such a good deal. Like that's so hard to pass up on. We'll see what else they have. I really want to find more of those Creator 3-in-1 sets, like the Toy Store, for example. That would just be really good for the city, adding more modulars and stuff like that. 
So I found the Lego aisle and they have some other sets here that they didn't have before. Like this one, for example, I don't think I saw this there, but it was 30, now it's 18. So that's a pretty good deal. It's always such a bummer when you find a set that you already have on sale. So we already have this. We built it on a stream kind of recently and it was 48, now it's 36. So yeah, that's like what, 25% off? Okay, so this is actually kind of weird. So this Friends movie theater, we saw this at the other Walmart, but at the other Walmart, it was 40, not 30. So. Wow, for 30 bucks, it's really hard to pass this up. I don't know, uh, I really want it. Okay, so this is actually really hard to pass up as well. Privet Drive, y'all. It was 56 down to 42, but I feel like the retail price was higher on it. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but yeah, I feel like that's, that's more than the 56 down to 42. I feel like it was more like 60 something, 65, something like that. It's just weird that a lot of the prices here are inconsistent, like, for example, okay, here's the toy store, right? So at the other Walmart, it was actually on sale, but here it's not, and now I'm kind of sad. One of these was on sale, not all of the books at the other one, but here it looks like a lot of them are. I don't think they even had this one in stock at the other one, but that is a pretty good price, 48 down to 36, that's pretty good. Okay, okay, so I've made up my mind. I'm getting this for sure. I'm gonna get a better box. This one's like falling over, so I don't, uh, don't fall. Okay, let me get this one. And Privet Drive. I feel like I should have gotten a cart. I've never actually had to get a cart for Lego before, but I'm already like, oh no, how do I hold these? I'm doing great. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. That was so much fun. Okay, so I got two really awesome sets here, the Friend Cinema and Privet Drive. I really do like Lego Harry Potter. I have Diagon Alley now, I have Privet Drive. I'm just like, I'm catching up, you know? I'm finally getting a lot of the sets that I did have my eye on for a while. But also with the Friends Cinema, I think it would be really cool to like build upon it and like make a mock out of it. I know Tech from Tech Productions has been working on something similar. I'm sorry, it's really windy. So I think I'll try to get some inspiration from him and just see what he's doing with it. I wanna go try more Walmarts. Okay, so I have a plan. I'm gonna head down south to the Lego store and get all my pabbers, my pab wall stuff havers and so that's gonna be fantastic but then there's a walmart really close by that i'm gonna go check out and see if they have any other lego deals or lego clearance because yeah i'm like overwhelmed at these deals all right so i just got to the mall and i parked i have my little pab cups here and i'm gonna bring them in and get like 50 cents off each of them and it'll add up through time which is kind of nice i'm glad they do that but also i got like the best spot do y'all see this i'm like front front i've never been front before this is great also, last time I was at the Lego store, they hadn't put all the pieces out. So I'm excited to see what all they have. They kind of told me like generally what they would have on the wall that was still in the back. But I'm excited. Maybe there's some surprises. Who knows? All right, so here's the pab wall and a lot of it looks really, really familiar. But one of the pieces I came here for specifically was these guys and I'm actually building a roof with them. I know it sounds kind of weird. But I'll have a mock update at some point. So I decided to get a whole cup full of just this one piece here. Also, it just keeps it easier for sorting. The Lego store is super hectic today, but I've been spending my time kind of stacking these two by twos because last time, I learned that if you stack them, you get a lot more in a cup. So I'm gonna try that and I'll kind of... Because when I got home last time, I like weighed this one next to the one without the stacked bricks. And this one had way more in it with like all the stacked ones in there. So I'm actually doing it right this time. I'm stacking my bricks. I hope y'all are proud. Okay, so I just left the Lego store and I was there a lot longer than I thought I would be, but stacking bricks takes forever, but I did it and hopefully it was worth it. I think it was because last time I was home, I like checked the two and again, like the one with the stacked bricks had more in it. So science, I guess, yay. But yeah, I got the three pick a brick cups and then I found a little goodie there. I found some more Lego roses. Um, I already have 12 roses total, so I'm gonna give one of them to one of my friends probably just like as a gift. It's such a cute set, so I hope she likes it, we'll see. So it's four o'clock and I'm getting really tired. I also really want some coffee. We'll see if that happens. I really wanna make a Dunkin' Donuts run. Y'all know I love Dunkies, but that probably won't happen because we have coffee at home, lame. So the longer I'm down here, the worse traffic's gonna be but I'm gonna deal with it because the Walmart down here probably has more Lego deals. Cause I've always been really lucky at this Walmart. I don't know why, but this Walmart just has really good deals and I always happen to find them. So that's good. All right, so I just got to my last Walmart of the day. I'm not gonna go to any more. First of all, cause I don't really know where any are. 
But second of all, I'm really tired and it's like four o'clock, 4.30 maybe, and I just, I don't know. I'm tired. I actually looked up different coffee places around here and somehow like everything's closed right now. I thought that there'd be something open, but every little coffee shop is closed. So I just got to the Lego aisle and I feel like a few of these are actually on sale here too, which is good. It's just crazy to me how the prices aren't consistent. Like Privet Drive, I got it for like $42 at the other Walmart. And same with this one here, I got it for 30. This one is also 120 here, but it was 90 at the first Walmart. Wow, and even this one down here, it's actually still 70 and I got it for 25. That's crazy. Well, I'm kind of bummed out. There's like really no good Lego deals at this Walmart. So yeah, I think it's time to head home. I'm gonna go try to find some coffee first, but yeah, this is kind of disappointing. They have a McDonald's in the Walmart here so I can finally get my coffee. So I got myself a caramel iced coffee and an apple pie. I haven't had an apple pie from McDonald's in years, like probably 10 or more years. So I'm excited. I'm like not that hungry, but it just sounded really good. I don't know. I'm just feeling very impulsive today. Look at me. Alrighty guys. Well, I am so happy I found these Lego deals. I am so excited. I got some really cool sets that I'd been after for a while, but I was not going to pay full price for, you know, like that friend cinema. I had my eyes on that since like March, I think. It feels like forever and I finally have it, which is really exciting and got it for $20 off so go me but anyways guys if you live near a Walmart make sure to go check it out because there's some really really good Lego deals today and also if you live near more than one Walmart just like you know make a day of it go Lego hunting see what they have because it's all different like at all three of the different Walmarts I went to today it was different Lego deals which is just really weird because you would think it would be kind of the same everywhere but I guess not so it makes it a little bit more exciting that way too because you don't know what you're gonna find but yeah so I'm gonna head home now I am tired and hungry and <laughs> And it's been a really long day just driving all around Austin but thank you all so much for hanging out with me thanks for coming along with me on this little Walmart hunting adventure I had a lot of fun finding Lego on sale is like the best feeling ever but anyways if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below I really do appreciate it thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one